Hi there, my name's Hayden, and today we're going to be talking about the update to Substance. For those of you who don't know, Substance is a 3D texturing tool owned by Adobe. Well, it was recently bought by Adobe. I personally use it a lot in conjunction with my favorite software, Blender, which is the software that I dedicate this channel to, to help new users learn. So why am I talking about Substance? As an educator, it would be remiss of me not to look at industry standard tools that we can utilize with Blender, Substance being one of them. Substance was bought by Adobe a couple of years ago from a very talented team. And they have, to their credit, updated it with a lot of new features. In the latest update, they've revealed that moving forward, they're going to be consolidating these Substance apps into the Creative Cloud. Now, these won't be accessible to those on the Creative Cloud license already. Instead, you will still need to buy a separate license for them. And judging by the likes to dislike ratio of Adobe Substance 3D's YouTube channel, it hasn't gone down all that well. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at what exactly has happened. Does it affect you in any way? And is this cause for concern as a lot of the comments in the video are bound to point out? So essentially, those of us who have been using Substance for a while now have been accessing it via the Substance Launcher and through Substance3D.com's own website. So we had a separate account to Adobe. Going forward, if you are a user of Substance, you won't be able to renew your Substance 3D license with Substance 3D. Instead, you will have to renew it via Adobe's new licensing. This is confirmed via the Frequently Asked Questions page on Substance's own website. Furthermore, Adobe has added a whole new tool to the Substance collection, the Stager. Now, Stager will be accessible to those of you who upgrade to the Substance 3D collection, which is not equivalent to the original Substance license. If you're just wanting the original tools, so those being Painter, Designer, and Alchemist, which has been renamed to Sampler, then you're just going to be wanting to get the Substance 3D texturing suite, which costs roughly the same amount as it did originally on Substance3D.com, which is great to see. Another change is how we'll access Substance Source. For those of you who aren't aware, Substance Source is a library of assets that you're able to download via asset points that you accumulate every month with a license to Substance. Now, Substance Source is essentially going to be hosted on Adobe now, and it's going to be called 3D Assets by Adobe. And you will still be able to get points with a new Substance license with Adobe that will go towards those assets. For those of you with accumulated points in your Substance account, those points will be transferred over to your Adobe account by 2022, allegedly. And that is the short long version of what has happened with the Substance Update. No, this isn't really going to affect anyone all that much. It's really just a different paint job on top of what was Substance and a few renames here and there. You're still going to be paying the same amount for the tools that you own and you're still going to have access to your points and your assets via the 3D assets by Adobe. So at the end of the day, while it is a bit of a facelift and a little bit of a, a shift in direction, it, it's not too big of a change. And if you have been on the fence about purchasing Substance, I wouldn't let this change dissuade you. Adobe is a fairly large company and I don't think they would have put all this money and effort into this suite if they were going to let it die. As you can see, there is a lot of anti-Adobe sentiment within the comments section of the announcement of this update. And to a degree, I can see their point. Adobe isn't the most consumer-friendly company out there. There have been plenty of examples where they have bought out a company or a software 
simply to let it die. Another source of pain that seems to be quite obvious from the comments is simply the confusion that is surrounding this update. Adobe has failed in communicating with its audience about how this change will play out. I think there seriously needs to be a little bit more transparency about when we can expect the points to go into our Adobe account, how we're able to transfer over and what that will look like. Just today, I got an email offering me a 50% discount to go over to this new plan. Now, what would have happened if I had already bought that plan yesterday while it was available? Would I be able to get a discount? How would that work? I don't know. I think the release of this update has been rushed and hasn't been conveyed as well as it could have. If your concern is that of a price increase, I would just like to allay your fears and let you know that no such price increase is happening at this time. That isn't to say there might be one in the future, there may well be. But as of this moment, the prices are relatively the same. I think most comments that do complain about pricing have simply misunderstood who Substance is for. Substance is a professional tool, and as such, it comes with a professional price tag, unfortunately. As an example, one of Substance's main competitors, Marmoset Toolbag, which does include a perpetual licensing model, it, it only is perpetual for the version that you buy, over the same amount of time, so four years, which seems to be the average that Marmoset upgrades to the next version, you'd be paying about 508 US dollars versus 959 dollars for substance, give or take a few cents. The price difference between these two softwares within this four year period is due to the fact that both of these products offer different things inside them. Substance offers a little bit more in terms of the texturing, whereas Marmoset offers a little bit more in terms of visualization. They're different. So depending on what your needs are, the product that you choose will be different and therefore the price that you pay. So what are my thoughts on all of this? Well, personally, I don't think all that much is going to change for me. Yes, I am a little bit annoyed that I'm going to have to transfer my license over to the Creative Cloud. Then I have to email the invoices of both my Substance 3D account as well as my new Adobe purchase over to the people at Substance 3D. And yes, that is what you have to do in order to get a refund. And they've explained this on their website. In the long run, I don't see all that much changing for me. If that isn't true, however, I will make an update video about the situation, but that's just how I see it playing across. If you have a different opinion, please let me know. I would love to hear it and why you think that is. If you aren't aware already, I've been making a new service for teaching new users in Blender how to use the software at blendertutorials.org. Already it is nearing completion and I can't wait to start sharing more details about it to you. I've created so many new systems in the last couple of weeks. I just can't wait. And I hope you can't wait either. If you haven't already, please head over there and sign up to receive a newsletter about the new release. There will be some very special discounts for launch, so you don't want to miss those. I'd also like to thank you for watching up to this point. I really appreciate it. Let me know how you found the video. Was it engaging? Did I make some good points? Or did I flounder some? Thank you so much for watching and have a really great rest of your day. This is Hayden Fousen from blendertutorials.org signing off. <laughs>